In this video, we are going to see the third property based on the inverse of a function. Actually, we would be reading the property and then we would be helping the property understand with the help of an example. So let's read the property together and let's see what the property is. If f and g are the inverses of each other, then f o g is equal to g o f. That means we have already studied about the composition of functions f o g and g o f. If they are equal will be possible only when f and g are inverses of each other. Let's see an example and let's see the proof of this with the help of an example. So I have a function f 2x plus 3 and the inverse of this function is g. f and g are inverses that is given to me. f is 2x plus 3 and g is x minus 3 by 2. This g is computed in the same manner as we find the inverses. Now what we need to do is we need to find first fog then gof and then see whether these are equal or not. If these are equal it will be proved that if there are two inverse functions their compositions are actually equal. So let's find out fog. What is fog? fog of x is nothing but f of gx. Now f of gx means what? It means that outside it will be f only and inside we have to substitute the value of g or gx that is what? It is x minus 3 whole upon 2. And now this upon 2 and everything would come outside and we would solve it. Now f of x minus 3 upon 2 means what? This whole x minus 3 upon 2 is now something called as x and this whole value will be substituted into this expression of fx. So what do I do? I just substitute x minus 3 upon 2 into 2x plus 3. So 2 into x, x will become my x minus 3 upon 2 and plus 3 will come again. Now 2 and 2 gets cancelled, so 2 and 2 gets cancelled, x minus 3 plus 3, minus 3 and plus 3 again cancelled, so I get x. Now x is the result that I obtained for fog. Let me first now find out what is gofx. gof is nothing but g of fx. g of fx means what? Outside it will be g only, inside I have to write down fx. What is fx? 2x plus 3. So g of 2x plus 3. Now that means this whole 2x plus 3 will now act as my x. And g of x is x minus 3 upon 2. So 2x plus 3 will go in place of x here in g. Let's see how I have to write 2x plus 3. I wrote 2x plus 3. Then the numerator has minus 3. So I wrote minus 3. Then the denominator has 2. So I wrote upon 2. Now minus 3 plus 3 gets cancelled. 2x upon 2 will give me just x. So we see something. What do we note? That fog and gof both have the same value that is x. So it means what? It means that the theorem is being proved, the property is being proved that if we take two functions which are actually their own inverses, then their compositions will always come out to be equal and it actually comes out to be equal to the variable. So in this video, we saw how to compute fog and gof and they come out to be same actually for two functions which are inverses of each other.